Hello everyone, it's Diffusion Gaming here for uh, a Terraria challenge video. I'm joined here with... Rainbow Kiss! Yeah! Hello, I'm, I'm Rainbow Kiss. Rainbow I like rainbows. Check out her cha channel. <laughs> yeah, I haven't added things in months, but okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I lost my laptop. I lost my laptop charger, which has my files on it. So yeah, this is actually our yeah. our second time doing this. Yep, yeah, because I can't get the other file. <laughs> All right, uh, now this is gonna be a one v one challenge, and basically how that yeah. works is me and Rainbow Kiss are gonna be separating into different sides of the world. Sides of the world. After thirty minutes, we enable PvP. Whoever dies. Because whoever dies due to the player loses. So if you die by a boulder or a dart trap in the ground, you don't lose. Unless the player chases you into a boulder trap. Long as the cause of death is by the player, then then you you lose. And some of the rules are you're not allowed to use any kind of teleportation things. Like no recall potions, magic mirrors, or Teleportation portals. I'm gonna set my team to red. Ooh. So yeah, after 30 I'm minutes. So after th after yeah. 30 minutes, I'll I'll tell you when to en enable PvP. Okay. So and I hopefully I'll notice and not be like looking away. Yeah. So I'll be going on the right side of the world. Rainbow Kiss will be going on the left side of the world. Yeah, I think that's all the rules. So, are you ready? I was born ready. Ah! All right, five. I'll meet you. I'll meet you soon. Four, three, two, one. Remember to meet me and go. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so of course I gotta start off getting some wood. It's gonna minimize something. Ah, finally, after like an hour, the challenge challenge begins. It, this was originally going to be me and Rainbow Kiss streaming this, and both perspectives, but the I guess the internet wasn't very good, so we weren't both able to stream on the same internet at the same time. So I'm going to be streaming this, and Rainbow Kiss is, is just recording it. And we're both going to be uploading our perspectives on YouTube. Oh, nice, a desert right away. So I can get some cactus armor and some basic cactus gear. So I might not find anything good for a while. Oh, I should have made a wood sword. So this is a small world, and it's on normal mode. We're both softcore characters. Got a better sword. That's all for now. Just need the, the sword mostly for the the vulture. Yeah, that's right. And no, nah, I want to set the platforms. If I put platforms, and some of the the flying ant lion things can come up. So we can get some armor. Oh, it's not enough for for pants. Oh well. Let's get some more wood. So, when you go on one side of the world, you'll either get a... one of the, the Skeletron Temple or the Jungle. Both have perks. If you get the Temple, you can... you have a chance of finding the Water Bolt, which would be really good in this challenge. Because we're going to be battling to the death. Oh great, I, I just realized I wasn't looking at the time when, when I said go. I don't know when it's going to be half an hour. I'm a genius. Recall potions, which are useless. 
because that's against the rules. Oh. And climbing claws. Okay, that's a good thing. So it's a small world, so it shouldn't take that long to figure out what's on each side of the world. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, nighttime is coming. Oh no! Worm. Beep, 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 beep. Well then, that's not very common for one of those worms to uh, go to the surface, I don't think. Sadly, it did. Alright, back to the right. Really want to discover there's a jungle or a temple there. And of course, when the 30 minutes is up, you don't have to attack right away. It's just you're able to. So you always have time to set up a plan. Alright, so maybe I'll go in this cave. I don't have any torches. Can I make any? I have no gel. So I can't... I can't see anything. I don't have a shine potion. I'll get some gel real quick before nighttime hits. Hey, maybe one of these... Eaters of Souls give me a... some ancient armor. No, it's a rare chance, but ancient armor is really good armor. Alright, six is good. Enough. I would jump over the zombie, but I don't want to risk it jumping. I got in the cave. Oh, it's a dead end. So I start mining down. Whoop, some water. I don't want to go in there. I'm trying not to place any torches right now because because I don't have very much. And it won't be very good to run out. Hopefully, you can we can hit a cave soon. Get some dungeons. Oh, now I think of it, I should have went inside the desert cave. The desert caves have lots of dungeons in them, and they don't have any traps. Except the worms would be kind of a pain. There we go. Oh, no! Auto place. No, I need the torch back. That pot could have more torches. I don't know where I am. Okay. That was scary. <gasps> I see a chest. I'll leave that one there. A chest and a demon altar, which is no use. Unless you get like an, some kind of spawn. All right, I must get the chest safely. Uh, nah. I'll I'll take the umbrella. I don't think it's gonna be very useful. Hey, torches and more gel. If we got the mechanic right away, it would, would be pretty nice to like set up some traps for a rainbow kiss. That could be a good way to. And take her out. I think it's been like 12 minutes so far. So it was, a, it was like 18 minutes to go until PvP is enabled. Which I don't remember, I don't remember what the exact time is. When we started. Oh, cave. Okay. All caves are small. Unless it goes down more. Okay, 
maybe this will lead to something bigger, something on the right side too, for after this part. Careful of traps. Okay, maybe I'll check the this little left part over there after the right side. Because it's a bit easier to get to. Nah, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. I will check the pots. And the glow stick can be useful. What the? What happened? Ah, no. Wait, this... There's, no, it's not lagging. My character's not lagging. It's just the... Uh, it was just the uh, jellyfish. I don't know why, but... Apparently... The jellyfish has learned how to teleport. Okay, so now... Let's go over here. I doubt there's anything up there. Oh, can make more torches. Oh, the sand. Get away from me. Okay, well maybe that means desert. And I did kind of want a desert. Though I do want to go to the desert. Don't want to deal with those desert worms, because I know I'm not strong enough for that. Any of the ant lines I can easily avoid, but the... I don't remember what it's called, but those desert worms, they'll, they'll destroy me. Well, I see a cave down there. Hopefully it doesn't... Well, hopefully it doesn't, like, be to a dead end. Oh, great. Someone's died to the Eater of Souls. Oh, bombs! Bombs are good. I'm not gonna mind that. Get some rope. Oh, so nice to use rope. Yeah. Oh, finally a big cave. There's a simple no. We'll be getting to a... I see dungeon. We'll be getting to like a call right after... Or we're going to be unmuting after the challenge is over. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want to deal with you right now. The chest. There's always at least one good item in here. Cloud and a bottle. Nice. A clown a bottle and climbing claws. I would say it's a very good combination. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. These things throw spears, I think. Spears, I'll do a lot of damage for a weak player for, like me right now. Don't want to deal with that. Ah, ah. No. <laughs> that was scary. Let's start mining down again. I don't think the cave goes on anymore. Oh no. So, how'd you get up there? Oh no, there's another one. I don't want you. You better not glitch through the wall. Because that can happen in this game, it has before a lot. Oh, is that diamond? If you get 15 diamond though, that means grappling hook. Oh no, and there's gold. There's gold like at the very bottom of the water where that spear throwing thing is. I'll probably go for it. It's risky. You just have to make sure there's no openings. I'm not really worried about the... the per oh, boulder trap. 
not really worried about the uh, the creature. More worried about the water coming in. Okay, another cave. Caves mean more. Ex Wait, more dungeons. I was about to say more exploration. Well, I mean that is technically true, but that wasn't what I was trying to say. And a lot more gold. Nah, that's not gold. Oh, right there it is. Oh! Ah! Ah! I forgot there were silk blocks there. Because I'm... smart. Well, I'm trapped now. There's no going back. Oh man. Okay, there is going back. No, but this is such a big cave, I don't want to lose it. I just want to collect this gold without being without being completely... Oh no. Get out of the way, giant snail. If I go up here, it'll like... Come on. Ah. I'll start getting some gold. Oh. I didn't mean to eat the mushroom. Alright, just one by one. Nothing clip in here. Alright. Just wanna go to the left. Go go slowly, like slowly take every everything out. Alright, and before that. One minute to go. I think. If I'm really in danger, I can just jump up and use the climbing claws. The slime in the shell shouldn't be able to get me. Oh. Ah! This is more gel. And a depth meter. Ooh, that's actually that's actually really good if if the dungeon's on this side. If it is, I can like look at the depth meter and see when when the dungeon guardian's able to spawn. So I think when you get like below zero in surface level, that's when that's when the guardian can spawn. So as long as I stay above that, I can check a lot of books for the water bolt. I heard jungle noises. Oh, the background changed to jungle. Okay, I guess we got jungle. I guess this is an easy way to get in. I don't have to risk my life on the surface. But yep, it's definitely jungle. The two life crystals. Before I go in there, I'm gonna do some crafting. I need an anvil, which you can't get yet until I get some lead bars. Oh, I don't think that's enough lead bars. Yeah, I should've got more lead. A dungeon! Haha! <laughs> uh, yep. Hope you enjoyed the jump scare. Okay, gonna put these in the slots so it takes a little bit. A little bit less. Oh! Give me a frighten. I'm gonna go back and look for some lead real quick. I don't want to go in there with two pieces of cactus armor and a cactus sword. Because I'm currently in the underground jungle, which means lots of dangerous stuff can spawn. Okay. This better be enough lead. 
No. Oh! No! It was here the whole time. And I was missing it. Dang. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, that's me. Alright. Good make. We probably got a gold sword and gold bows. We can get a tungsten bow. Well, I might as well go in the jungle from the from up here. I don't feel like dealing with like risking fall damage. It's a better sword, so I probably won't die here again. And there's the jungle. Let's go right a little bit. Okay. No, no, you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to gonna go attack someone. Let's go left. It's good enough. Let's get some bombs ready. Got the bombs. With the block, anything that happens. Sharingkins. Got some buffs. I click B before the battle. Alright, coming. Maybe I'll get to the temple. I don't know if Rainbow has got any books. And she couldn't be that far, because she died recently. And it's a small world, so... Yeah, I see torches, so let's follow the torch trail. <laughs> uh, yeah. Making a house. Oh, yeah, you better run. Yeah. Oh, I like how it was just like a house. Just kind of... Alright, well. <laughs> well, at least it took a bit longer than last time. I guess... Unmute. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Well, once again, Howdy. once again, the bombs. Man, I'm like over here, like preparing for a battle, and then I see like a house set up, and like a big, <laughs> a big home. It's like um. And I like just finished doing it, so I didn't have any of my weapons or anything ready. Oh yeah, I had like bombs, shurikens, bow, gold sword. I have a climbing claw and a clown a bottle. Yeah, I have a climbing claw and a radar. Tiny cactus sword. I have a radar. So if you don't need those to be equipped, I also have a depth meter. I saw you died by the dungeon guardian. Yeah, I, 
I decided that I was gonna, like, just see, see how, like, deep I could go, hopefully find some stuff. Because, like, yeah. like, last time in one, I ended up being able to go really deep. Oh, yeah. And it was fun. It's different for each world. It really depends where it's located. I, I have a depth meter, so I know exactly when the Dungeon Guardian is going to show up. Nice. I'm going to go over there. My plan is actually to go over there and look in there if like, I didn't find you. <laughs> but then I saw at home. I'm going to try and bring Connor. Alright. <laughs>